Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today, believe it or not, you're looking at curls that just came from the gym. Yes, today I'm showing you how to work out at the gym and then still have beautiful curls after your workout. Now, as some of you may know, I am someone who likes to preserve her curls for up to day four, five, day six sometimes, and I do work out Monday through Friday. So it is possible to have beautiful looking curls without having to wash your hair all over again every time you go to the gym. So without further ado, let me show you how I went to the gym, showed you what kind of workout I did, and then how I got to this point after the gym. And here's my trainer, the one and only Zipper. Ah! Hey Zipper, why should I listen to you? Have you won any competitions or anything? Well, I kind of won, I'm so shy. Uh-huh. I won Mr. America, the Mr. Universe, the oh. World Championships three times. Oh, that's all. I want to be on your YouTube channel. Please, please, you put it. me on the YouTube channel. You Did it. I make it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thanks for the workout. <laughs> all right, now I'm back from the gym, all nice and sweaty. This is the current damage, you know, a little frizzy. So yes, obviously not perfect, but don't worry. It's something that I can't fix. But what I probably haven't shown you in any of my videos is that every time I shower throughout the week, I wear a shower cap. These are just little cheap clear 99 cent store shower caps we are going to add some water to refresh but we don't want to be soaking wet and start all over again so make sure you have a cheap little plastic shower cap and take your shower Alrighty, now i'm fresh out the shower feeling oh so clean my makeup is on and now it's time to assess the damage of this post gym hair now like i said i usually like to put up the very top of my head in a pineapple that way it kind of just, you know, falls back into place. Ooh, I did this on a late day here. This was like day four or five, but nothing I can't fix. But technically speaking, it is good to keep your hair at the very top of your head. That way it's not touching any of the sweat that's on your neck or your back. So you don't want to put it in a low ponytail. You don't want to put it in braids because your curls are just not going to look right post braid unless you're doing like a full twist out then that might actually work you don't want any hair resting on the areas where you're going to sweat so it's best to keep it up high and away and in a pineapple i wouldn't even recommend putting it in a bun because now you're just smushing your curls even more creating more dense and it's just going to be harder to refresh so just let them be free you know and let them live on the top of your head we've got some straight pieces right here not curly, not cute, and we're going to refresh it, no problem. So as always, I grab my Curl Keeper water bottle. You can use any water bottle brand you want. I think it might be cheaper on Amazon, but this is what I have. And we're just going to re-spritz our hair. If you sweat a lot, which I don't really think I sweat a lot, you might want to add some dry shampoo, but I'm just going to re-wet it. Okay, already looking better. I know most of you would look at this and be like, oh, it's ruined, time to wash my hair. But y'all give up too soon. You give up too easy. better. Now since you guys have seen me refresh with so many of the products that I already have in my other videos, I want to try something new for you guys, which is the Diva Curl Archangel Gel. This gel is not new by far, but it's new to me and I know I'm late to the game, but I've heard that this gel is even 
better or maybe has more of a hold than the ultra defining gel. What do you guys think? Which gel do you like better if you've tried both? I'm curious. So I'm going to add about that much. I showed you a clear hand. Can you even see that? That's how much gel I'm using. Rub them together. And we're just going to reapply it in this little scrunching, flattening motion. So we want to pray for our curls, pray for them, pray that they will be revived and beautiful once again. Pray and scrunch, pray and scrunch. Since I have bangs now, I'm going to bring my bangs forward. You gotta find them. Believe it or not, these are my bangs. That's called shrinkage. And then I'm going to apply some gel to the top of my head and my bangs. Many of you focus so much on your length of the hair that you forget the top of your head, and then you wonder why you have frizz on the top of your head. So don't forget to apply to the top. And there you go. So at this point, I just like to let my hair air dry for at least 30 minutes on a refresh day. Sometimes I can get away with not waiting as long as my day one hair. But I will come back when this gel starts to harden a little bit. We wanna wait for that little bit of a crunch. And then I might diffuse if need be. And we'll see how it looks. I'm back and now my hair is completely dry. And now we're going to fluff it out and style it. So I'm gonna give it a little shake. Once again, there's a lot of shaking involved in the refreshing. Get my bangs to come forward. Oh yeah. I am really liking this new, well not new, but this Archangel Diva Curl Gel. I think it's my new favorite Diva Curl Gel. It just took first place. Look at that. Beautiful or what? And you were about to wash your hair again just because you went to the gym. <laughs> I think the Archangel Gel has just the perfect amount of hold. And if you think there's too much of a crunch to it, you could just scrunch it like this. I have a full video on how to get rid of the cast that gels leave on your hair. But I think it's perfect. What do you guys think? Now I'm gonna get my handy dandy pick and kind of make it bigger. But this is what I do every day, guys. I go to the gym Monday through Friday, and then I refresh my curls just like this. I hope this video helped you guys with your daily workout and curly hair routines. If so, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews on Fridays and curly hair videos on Sunday. So come back next week for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.